This is the Creality CR10. Let's get right into it. It was nicely packaged with very thick foam surrounding the entire 3D printer. It is 90% pre-built. However, you do get a box with a couple of things you will need. An SD card for offline printing, sketchy build instructions, the wrong power plug, a lovely print removal tool, the few parts you actually need to install, spare parts, tools, USB cable, a roll of PLA filament, thank you very much, a spool holder, and lastly a spare PTFE tube in case you f up the first one. The heated bed was rocking back and forth, so I turned it over and you can see the top left wheel is not resting against the aluminum. So I fixed it by adjusting the eccentric nut, just turning it 90 degrees and now it was smooth as butter. The written page of instructions was unreadable, so toss it away and go to your SD card and you will find proper instructions for every single step. The assembly could not have been easier. You just tighten up a couple of screws and T-brackets, the frame is incredibly sturdy, no flexing and the wiring was two minutes. Everything was clearly labeled and with solid connectors. If you do happen to receive the incorrect power plug, either get the correct one or get an adapter. Both are very inexpensive options. Now power it up and you will be prompt the familiar display we all know and love. At this point I homed all the motors and leveled the heated bed. I inserted the filament and I could not believe how quick I got this printer working. Even though I had to change camera angles and all that, it took me an hour and a half from the moment I opened the box. So you could definitely have this running within an hour, which is far quicker than any other printer I have ever tested. Maybe except this one. I downloaded a few upgrades from Thingiverse, sliced the objects in Cura and started the first print. I was blown away of the incredible quality of each layer but I still decided to print a fan nozzle that will direct the airflow towards the plastic rather than a hardened nozzle. The one upgrade I highly recommend you do is the strain relief bracket for the heat bed connections. Links in the description below. Something else I became very fond of very very quickly because I haven't used it too much before is the included glass bed. Now you can take great advantage of printing stuff with a shiny first layer, perfect for something like foam cases. However, most filaments tend to adhere better to tape, so that's what I normally use. ABS is one of the more tricky filaments to print and this is one of the very few problems I found with the printer. The heated bed takes a long time to heat up and was only able to reach 85 degrees Celsius. This causes ABS to cool down too quickly resulting in the layer separations you can see right here. The solution is really quite simple. You need to enclose the printer, trap the heat inside. And once again I was blown away by the perfectly layered layers. It's nice. It's really, really nice. Printing the nylon filament was no problem. Flexible filament was no problem either. A quick tip is to use hairspray or even a glue stick on the bed. This will make the object stick even better to the heated bed. Lastly, I used PLA and printed a scaled up benchy boat just to get a benchmark and this too turned out pretty much perfect. I haven't even mentioned the build volume yet. Stupid Simon. The printable dimensions are 300 by 300 by 400. It is pretty big. So what is the price for this monster? Right now it seems to be on a flash sale for $390 including shipping. Use this coupon code and you will get it for $370. Whoop, whoop. So what is the verdict? Is it a good printer? Should I get one? I think it is an amazing piece of machinery when you can take it out of the box, assemble it and start 3D printing within an hour with such good quality. Along with a pretty massive build volume for $400, 
This is probably the printer I would recommend to most people right now, yes. I received it only a few days ago and I can't tell you whether it will work one year from now, but I do plan to take a look at the electrical components inside here, maybe printing something really big. I think that could be really interesting, so make sure you stay tuned for that. You guys smashed the thumbs up on my latest video. It reached 3000 likes the first day. It was incredible and it shows that you really did enjoy those types of videos. So I will definitely keep posting those. If you think I missed something, if you have any questions, just comment down below and I will do my best to answer to you guys. Have a nice day. Bye.